Hi everyone, just a little video to let you know about my new online course coming up this weekend. It will be a geometry course on a little rose window, uh, more of a flamboyant style. It's from a church in Abbeville in the north of France. I will show it in a second. The course will be on this coming weekend, the 26th and 27th of uh, October 2004, and 2024. And there will be live sessions that will be recorded. So if you sign up, you will have access to the recording and you can do it also at your own pace if you're not available for the live sessions. So this is the little rose. Um, so it's a little rose, flamboyant rose on top of a, a door, so in a, in a tympanum um, on the facade of a church in the north of France in Abbeville. It's the Collegiate of saint Vulfran, And on the facade, um, further up, you have a larger rose window, a little bit more complex. Um, but I really like this little window because it's uh, fairly simple, but still very interesting and in a typical um, type of Gothic style. And this is the stained glass. So what's interesting in this rose is that we have those six petals and it looks fairly simple but we have uh, all the little complexities of the gothic for example um, we could um, assume or guess that these would be equilateral arches <clears throat> placed on a six-pointed star but i don't think it quite fits um, i tried different versions and the one i like the best is this one with petals a little bit wider and it still makes sense in the logic of the of the drawing um, what's also interesting and that we are going to look at is the level in the tracery. So the tracery is the stone line which we are drawing and the levels are the lines that um, make sort of the 3D relief or the, the pattern on the stone here that we translate in lines um, um, here. So in the course we'll of course see the, the white line which is sort of the core line, the general structure of the rows and then um, to give it more um, substance and uh, be more interesting we'll add at least the golden line which is the um, um, sort of the thickest part of the stonework and which will also give us those little silhouette shapes so those little points here that form kind of a head and um, shoulders so like a little silhouette placed in the mouchette this shape um, whether pointed or around is called a mouchette and um, with this thickness so and you will also be able whether we do it together or you do it afterwards to add this third um, line which gives a bit more delicacy to the drawing and the tracing and is more interesting to fill in um, with color later. Uh, also interestingly in this design we'll have this little central curve here within the petals which is a bit thinner than the general width and um, it makes it more interesting to look at. So often in Gothic tracery, you'll have more levels to create a more delicate um, pattern and have something that's more interesting to the eye. So here, the general thing is on one level, which is, makes our life easier in terms of drawing. Uh, but we have those curves that are a bit thinner and um, make the whole design a bit more elegant. And uh, also, what we will see is that this rose, um, to have a lot of space, um, is pl it's placed on an equilateral arch. The general arch is an equilateral arch. But um, instead of using the span of the arch, so the baseline for the arch and to place the rose, which would have given us a smaller circle, um, we've um, made the baseline sort of go down to give more space to um, the rose. So we're going to see how... Um, to place all of this. And finally, in terms of what's interesting in this drawing, um, I quite like that for once it's not, um, we have six general petals, but we don't have the same thing happening in between each of the petal. Um, so we have um, this up and down and um, those two different shapes um, left and right. So you could say that those parts in between the petals are following more of a symmetry um, horizontally and vertically, but not from a six-fold point of view. Um, so that's it for this rose. Here you can um, kind of see uh, the images I, I use to do my research and try different versions. So I'm um, looking forward to share all of that with you and um, show you my version um, of a construction for this drawing. And also for this course, it's good to have already a little bit of a practice of geometry to have some basics 
Um, it's not too ambitious as a drawing, uh, but still it's a little bit complex and um, it would be a lot easier if you already have some um, knowledge of geometry and um, if you're already a little bit used to using a compass and a ruler uh, for that type of drawing. So thank you for watching. I hope um, you find this course interesting. If you want more details and if you want to sign up, you can follow the link to my website in the description box below. If you have questions, write them in the comments or write to me um, via email or on Instagram. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Lucy Rose Geometry. Also, if you sign up now, even if you're not available for the live sessions, you'll have access to the recordings right away. But after the date of the last live sessions, to purchase only the recording, you'll have to wait three months. I'm leaving kind of a gap um, to keep the content a little bit exclusive for those who sign up before the live session. And after those three months, you'll be able to purchase um, the recordings only uh, at a slightly lower price. But so that will um, come a little later. So I really hope you enjoy this course if you sign up for it and um, otherwise um, I'll see you soon on new videos on this channel.